political scenario in Nigerian politics is just getting more curious. The latest twist is what former President Goodluck Jonathan just said. Jonathan has commended Senate President Bukola Saraki for leadership of the National Assembly. Jonathan told the Senate President, if not for his strong leadership, the National Assembly would probably have been in chaos, and if the National Assembly is in tatters, then of course democracy is gone. The ex-president said that it was as a result of Saraki's cordial relationship with the House of Representatives that the assault on the National Assembly was evaded. But given Jonathan's history in power and allegations that he allowed gross corruption during his time as president, it is fair to say that some might question his authority to commend Saraki's leadership. Good luck, Evelyn Jonathan. It's right in positing that, but for the calm, calculative, and uh, objective uh, position of the leadership of the National Assembly, headed by uh, Senator Dr. Bukola Saraki, that this nation would have been in greater chaos than we are seeing today. Saraki has been involved in bitter political battles since he became president of the Senate, but the situation has peaked this year. The internal crisis in the APC led to his defections to the PDP, the party which he served as governor under its leadership for eight years. However, both parties continue to play the blame game. Statements from both parties paint a picture in which the opposition is at fault. People have reacted quite strongly to what Jonathan has said about Saraki and his endorsement of Saraki. Saraki is saving Nigeria and the National Assembly because there could have been a lot of mis misrule in this country. Why? Because the people are there come only for revenge. I don't understand. Now, assuming he came on the primary cause of actually doing something good, you understand, Nigeria could have felt it, at least one thing. He can say, yes, this is one thing I have ever done. I said, to me, it is politically motivated. I don't see Sarah, I don't see any leadership quality. I don't admire any leadership qualities, right? Because Sarah is always thinking about himself. Anything that is not for himself, then, it's not right. So Jonathan, you know, it's right that defeated Jonathan. So uh, Saraki is not in tandem with the sources of Buhari regime. He has done a lot of legislation within these three and a half years. There is peace between the Senate and the House of Reps. And basically most of, they have enacted a lot of laws and most of what they have done to keep the National Assembly together has helped democracy grow, even though there are some political inconsistencies between the legislature and the executive. So I believe his strong leadership in the National Assembly has kept democracy alive. One thing is however certain, Bukola Saraki's and battle days are far from over. Behind these statements lie the hidden threads of shifting political allegiances. Bureau Report, Roots TV, Abuja.